<laughs> Alright, Konnichi, what's up? I'm Yoshi and... This is Kenji. And today we're going to be doing some Arduino stuff that uh, even a six-year-old, right? You're, you're six? Yeah. That <laughs> okay. even your six-year-old can do. Uh, so this is... Uh, Not by themselves. Well, aided. You know, ad adult aid. So if he can do it, you can do it. So first we're going to start off with uh, Kenji's setup. <clears throat> he just got my old Fanatec CSL Elite belt drive. <laughs> and uh, the pedals and the shifter is still the old Logitech unit. As you can see, the, the Logitech is down there. Um, and it's just kind of plugged in and that's how we do the pedals and stuff and we don't want to do that. So, uh, we have this. I don't even know what it is. This. this is an Arduino Pro Micro. I kind of like when Marco Andrew wrote. Close enough. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be using that. Um, some of these duders with the breadboard for some testing Ooh. purposes and we're going to get two DB9 connectors. Uh, <laughs> So you're using this stuff to uh, make a, a, a separate unit so we don't have to plug in the uh, thing anymore. So uh, let's go over what we need. What do we even need? I don't know. So you need uh, the Pro Micro or any kind of Arduino Micro. You don't need a breadboard. This is just for, it's not gonna focus. Eh. Focus. There you go. This is the, the micro breadboard, and we're going to use that for plugging stuff in. Uh, the breadboard is just for testing purposes. That's okay. Sorry. That's fine. I'm and then we got these uh, screw-on terminals. I'm going to try screw-on terminals instead of the soldering kind, because I'm just tired of soldering. <laughs> tired of soldering. We have some of these leads here that are pins on both sides. We're going to do this for some testing purposes, and later on I'll solder and whatnot. We just want to test. Um, and then, you know, screwdriver. I think it's really, you need a computer. Is it, does it go with this? Yeah, close enough. Okay, so let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so we'll deal with the DB9 connectors in a second. Um, I've got my laptop with me with some pins. Um, <laughs> and so Kenji, what you'll see is... Um, that blue wire? There's all these labels right here. Yeah. So if you look at it, it says raw, Ground, Reset, RST, VCC, which is like um, Victorian crumpet croc crocodiles. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what that either. means. Um, A3, A2, A1, A0 for some reason. 15, 14, 16, and then 10 because those numbers go in that order. Um, and this is not appropriate for one-year-olds because... I don't know why. I'm just saying. Well, they might swallow the thing. It's such a, such a small, small board. Yeah, very small. Don't put it in your mouth ever. I'm really excited for this because I've never done it. Okay, let's see. Second row here. Here? Yep. Anywhere there. There. Um, Is that good? I think that's good. You know, let's see. About there. Yep. See how it's above the A0? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push that in. Push, push, push. Done. Ta-da. And starting to become an octopus. Our next one goes to A1. A1. Okay, A1. I can find it by myself. A1, found it. Ran right next to A0. Who'd have thought? All right, so now we're going to go back over this, and we're going to put this into the... So this is what goes into the pedals. We're doing the pedals right now. Pedal. So let's go back. So the one that was... I love pedals because you're so pushy. Other way, out there, out there. Yep, that way, good, good, good. I know that has a JK or Jeffrey Kenji. I just can't snap. Maybe the logo? Maybe, all right, so now we're gonna put that, it needs to go in the top part. Over here, which, there you go. Now, righty tighty. Right the tada. Woo! This is like a merry go round. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's good. So, the next one is going to go to three. So, lefty Lucy on number three. Lefty Lashla. Tug. Good. Good. And guess what? I have two smashes. Boom. 
That is all the wiring we have to do. Now this is preliminary wiring, so I'll actually do a little bit better for cleaning up the terminals and whatnot, because um, these obviously won't fit inside these duders. Um, but that'll, this is enough for us to go testing, all right? So Kenji has to go to bed, um, but I'll do the programming side of things. So can you say night-night? Night-night. Night-night. And bye. Bye. And I'll go on the programming next step, okay? Okay. All right, let's go to bed. Okay, so from the GitHub that I posted, you'll download two things, the uh, pedal and shifter uh, source code and the G27 calibration. Uh, the calibration is an EXE file for the calibration, but for right now, we're just gonna open up the, uh, the INO file, um, link to the latest, latest Arduino IDE will be in the description. Um, so we don't really have to do much of anything. We're going to go into this and you need to make sure from the drop down uh, you select the right Arduino COM port and we're going to use an Arduino Micro. So select the Micro and make sure you have the right COM port and we're just going to upload. It takes a second, compiles on a little bit, uh, no big deal, and it's done. Don't worry, for some reason it always gives this error with the Micro, so it, we're still good. So what you'll do is you'll uh, disconnect and reconnect the Arduino to kind of give it a little refresh. And then we're going to plug it back in. Now we're going to go to the G27 calibration tool, which is the, let me find it here, the G27 calib. You're going to select the COM port that our Arduino is connected to. I don't, and uh, of course right here you, I've left the Arduino IDE open and that uh, monopolizes the uh, COM port, so we'll have to reopen that. So make sure you close the Arduino IDE first. Now we're going to restart. Um, and then for some reason the invert gas clutch brake pedal doesn't seem to do anything for me. So whether I check it or uncheck it, it doesn't really seem to make a difference. Um, so we're going to keep those things off for right now, but our pedals are working. Uh, and from this point we're going to go and we're going to start to set our zone. So if you look on the right there's the shifter bit and on the left oh yeah, so Let me turn the filtering off right now. So shift neutral zone. So you hold down the leftmost red button on the uh, shifter and we're just going to kind of wiggle around the shifter to make sure it's in the neutral area. Next we're going to go to um, the top zone. So you hold down the button while you're in the top zone and kind of go around and that sets the top zone. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. The key thing here is while you're holding down the red button to just kind of like wiggle it around while it's still in gear to give it that full range. Um, as you see me doing these things, it's kind of, uh, you'll see those bars moving to give you those zones. So what's happening is, is the, the shifter is actually two potentiometers that do left and right, up and down, or X and Y. And these different zones denote the different gear areas. Uh, so once we save that, um, everything should be okay to go. Um, you'll notice here, this is what happens when you don't disconnect at once. It seems to be really kind of sluggish and slow. Uh, you'll see it kind of like eking up and down. Um, and that really means that the Arduino needs to be reset. So we're going to unplug the Arduino once. Plug it back in and it does a, an auto calibration. So you need to press the pedals all the way down to get the zero to full effect. There you go. And you can see my throttle has a little bit of noise in it. Um, so we're gonna set the topmost value, kind of filter a little bit there. And then when I'm off throttle, yeah, we're gonna set the upper and lower balance. And this is just kind of the problem with the Logitech. They get a little bit noisy with age. Um, so you might need to play with these things as your potentiometers age or if you replace them or whatever. Uh, then we're going to go to the shifters and if we set those zones correctly we should just be able to click and, and shift into gears. Yep, oh, I accidentally shipped back into third here. There you go. Uh, and also the reverse which is the push down and six gear works too. So that's the basic setup um, and let's uh, check it out see how it works. All right, so Kenji's finished the wiring. Get your fingers out of there. <laughs> uh, this is our breadboard. Things are wired up. We just did the calibrations. Uh, so Kenji, if you don't mind, can you show the shifter and the pedals working? Okay. 
Well, um, but first thing, one thing, what's a shifter? A shifter. Oh, yes. So, I don't know where, where we put them, but this is the same one working fine. Um, pedals are working fine, too. Yeah, so let's, let's push the pedals so you can see I'm working on the screen. And she's toesies are pressing them, and they're all pretty smooth and working all right. But the brake one isn't that smooth. Yeah, I, I think it's because the brake is stiffer, right? Mm. Wait, I'll get closer and then see. All right, do me a favor, shift some gears. Let's, let's check out the gears. Do you remember how to put it in reverse? Gotta push it, there you go. Yeah, so even reverse works. Yeah, also, I think we wait, get some of- Wait, what's reverse? Yeah, the R, R is reverse. I also believe we get, let's see, down here on the bottom we should get the Arduino buttons that you can, all well, the 227 buttons. Yeah. Thanks pressing those buttons. Hey, that's the sign for Punish with Zombies, I think. HP? Think so? So we can press the buttons, so we also, not only do we have the shifter, but we have all the G27 buttons. So we get lots of options for stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna finalize the circuitry a little bit, but that's don't really need to see that. Anybody can do that. Um, but there it is, working pretty cheap. Was that easy, Kenji? Super easy. Super easy. So we're gonna go swap that stuff out, and then uh, I think we're done. Right? Yeah. All right. Wait, swap this out? No, we're gonna swap this stuff out for the steering wheel that's back there. Uh, yeah, we don't so need So, like, that. we're gonna... That's the old steering wheel over there. <sighs> it says... I don't know what... Logitech. Why did you say that? And it's the name of the company. Oh. Alright, do you want to say goodbye to YouTube? Bye-bye. Wait, is this a whole video? It's gonna be a whole video. Oh. oh, wait, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Does it have anything to do with the shifter? No. No. This is something I drew. Oh, nice way. It's Dr. Zombos. This is him. This is his hammock. This is the portal. This are his arms. These are the feet. This is sunflower. That's a fireball. Then that's when the fireball exploded. And then this is Super P. All right, so if you want to watch Kenji play Plants vs. Zombies and, and we can make videos out of that, leave a comment down below. Alright, thank you YouTube. Bye bye. Bye bye, Matane. Matane.